And I've got to say, in all honesty, um, it's the biggest piece of dog shit. It's 9.54. I was about to try to do some smoking or whatever, but what I just went through just has me like, now I kind of understand why people stay by themselves. I get it now. Emotional damn it! Because it's like this whole dating thing, this whole race to find my person when I was with my person. It just makes me want to stay by myself. Um. I know I haven't uploaded in a while and that's gonna change. I'm gonna do some more work specifically on my YouTube channel. I'm trying to grow to a thousand subs and beyond and help as many people as I can with what I know. Like I was saying, it's hard when you're empathetic. Like for all my baby witches who are watching and who don't understand why does you know my feelings feel so intense when people you know, tell me this when people are mean to me and I can't just, it's because you're empathetic and it's hard, it's hard as empaths for us to kind of transmute that energy, but the more you do it, the easier it is. For females and, you know, my gay boys, twerking, dancing, shaking your hips is a great way to transmute that energy. Um, I did not do it because I just felt like I needed a good cry. <clears throat> um, being like this has put me a bit in hermit mode. I can admit that I am a little bit lonely, which is why I've been trying to date. Um, mourning the loss of my, what was gonna be my marriage, my dream life, it just really messes me up. And then it messes me up that I have to come across people who I just like spoke to just now which is why I came to have a little talk with you guys. One thing I brought up in therapy is that um, I'm starting to have a bit of social anxiety and I noticed that it happened directly after my last relationship before I went to the shelter. It's hard for me to directly look at people sometimes. It's a lot um, for me to be in groups. It was like that when I was in college, but it's it feels a bit worse now. With that being said, like I don't plan on rubbing elbows with people out at clubs or a concert and possibly meeting the love of my life or whatever, I don't know. So I've been putting myself out there online. Uh, it's discouraging because like I said, um, I thought I was talking to somebody that kind of showed me different that there wasn't pee in this dating pool, but there's a lot of pee. And the sad part is 10 years older than you, 15 years, 20 years, these people still act so immature. This is the second oldest person that I've spoken to or older woman that I've spoken to who's kind of made me feel like crap. And it, I'm gonna tell you one thing now, guys, it is never okay for anybody that you're talking to, dating, fucking whatever, to make you feel like crap, no matter what they've been through. We all know that we're on a healing journey and we are healing. Some of us are not healed from what we've been through, but there's a limit to how you can mistreat people. I guess I had to see that to see that if we were to pursue anything, the relationship probably would be one of condescendence and when I mentioned that I seem to have struck a nerve when I said condescendence and judgment like it's real guys I should have said in the beginning like if you guys smoke drink girl go ahead and pour you some wine I was gonna get on live on TikTok but I can't smoke on TikTok and I love to smoke and talk to you guys. So I might as well record and upload and maybe one day, you know, I'll go live on YouTube and we can all smoke together. For now, I just don't understand it. It's like when I finally find who I am and I understand myself and I'm helping people, I don't get to be with who I want to be with.
than when I think maybe I've reached a hump or a bridge to get over this person. Then it just, the world just shows me like why we are not meant to be apart from each other. But circumstances has us like this. If anybody who was to like really talk to me, watch my YouTube, they'll be like, oh no. <laughs> I did my research before I dated you, bitch. <laughs> I was just telling my twin that that conversation just made me feel low, like, and I remember like leaving this person and telling myself, I'll never allow somebody to make me feel the way that I felt with this person. And I just went 10 steps backwards with a stranger that I was trying to get to know nonetheless. And I know a lot of you are gonna watch like, oh, you shouldn't feel no way. Like that's how online dating is. Like people are weird and you're too emotional. I'm gonna get probably all those kind of comments under this video, but fuck it. Fuck it. The first video of me coming back is me ranting about how online dating sucks and how dating sucks, period. Because online dating is also the way that people like me, who don't really even pass the pandemic or before the pandemic don't really like to be social butterflies like that. I'm disappointed because I'm just like, what gives us as human beings who bleed the same blood as another person the right to pass any kind of judgment? Any kind of judgment. And for, this is a question for you guys and put it in the comments if you reach this point in the video. I know I'm just ranting and raving. <laughs> if you reach this part of the video, put in the comments this answer. If somebody that you just said, hey, you know, when I was a teen, even though, okay, so the first thing I said was, I cheated, I played my games. Are you gonna take it as, this person knows how I feel about cheating, so they're gonna switch it up and be like, hey, as a teenager, to clean it up. Or are we taking it as, hey, as a teenager, I did some wild things as a kid up until I was like about my early 20s. And, you know, I'm being honest about that. And for them to turn around and be like, oh, you know how I feel about cheating and all that. And then for them to start basically degrading your character based upon who you used to be, but they themselves cheated on their girlfriend because of how a vacation went. It makes no sense. And I could have passed extreme judgment about that because what? And the way and the form that the cheating happened for this person. You understand? Mind you, you don't know this person's full name. You don't even know this person's name, really. Okay, you just know what they gave you and what they put on a Facebook profile. So, mind you, this person's thinking you're willing to lie because you don't know them. Strange. People are strange. People are fucking strange and people are weird. 